Hey guys, X Um X. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Hey guys, it's uh, X Dan X back again. Uh, now, in last video, I did say I was going to go on a day trip to Wrexham. Uh, well, <laughs> northwest of England, it's uh, it's shocking. The weather is really bad. It's torrential rain, and I didn't see the point in going somewhere just to go and have a look at one particular game that probably probably wouldn't be there anyway. Resident Evil 2 was on there yesterday. Well, Sunday night. Check back Monday, gone. So even an update or, or with this computer exchange and the updated stock listing is really slow or I'm just behind in life. I will go there at some point and the price the price has gone up as well. It used to cost five pounds sixty, it cost nine it now costs nine pounds for a return to Wrexham. That's that's a lot of money. I go to Manchester for that. Do you know what I mean? So but okay, that's just a good little shop in here, Manchester, that uh, sells uh, quite like box N64 games and things like that. Apparently, it's really, really good. My friends said that they'd be a Gear Solid uh, PlayStation 1 Limited Edition and I'd like an art book and uh, get a free t shirt with it and things like that. And he's selling it for £200. So, I think it's like an independent game store, right? So, anyway, moving on from that. I did, however, go to Liverpool Computer Exchange and cash converters and game station. So, take up for that. I'll show you what I've got for that. So, first thing I've got, and I've got three purchases from two um, different cash, well, bloody cash converters. Uh, I got Metal Gear Solid Free Snake Eater, the Grand Sum of £2.50. I don't think the light's going to capture it because, you know, it's really bad. Anyway, yeah. Uh, the only nag with it, in fact, is the disc okay? The disc is fine, which isn't too bad, but do an nag with it. Someone's took red pen. Maybe I'll see it. Maybe, yeah, someone's took red pen and just scribbled in it, basically. It's not that which is kind of annoying, but £2.50, I wouldn't really complain about that. That's a good price, that. Game station's still selling it for £7.99. You think, why? So, but yeah. Uh, what else did I get? Well, okay, okay. Um, so I'll look around. Uh, the other cash converters. This is more local, not local. That that Mega Sol got from a place called Bootle in Liverpool. Uh, their cash converters. I checked around there and it didn't really do that much. Although it did go to the game station because I knew I knew they had cube games, so for going. Okay, so I got. <laughs> okay, I'll get past that in a minute. I got on PS2, twelve stag. Which is a PS2 shmup. I never fucked this light really bad. That's my fault. Though. Which I can't go to the blinds, but I don't know. Which I need it back a bit. But yeah, it's complete. Sorry for the lighting. I'm gonna sort it out soon. The camera quality, by the way, the new one's a lot better than this, so that's not too bad. <laughs> Gotta wait for an SD card though, because I've got a USB stick with a driver. So I know the SD card's Sunday night, should be due Wednesday. So if this this will be one of the last videos with this shitty webcam. But yeah, it's a PS2 shmup. Uh, really pleased to have it. A uh, vertical shooter, which is nice. Uh, by Tato as well. I, I don't know much history about it, but for £2.50, couldn't really complain. Um, okay, so I was looking around um, the cash of bears, looking at the GameCube games, etc. Now, I found, remember I said that I found a uh, sealed uh, Dragon Ball Z, etc., etc. And I said it's got a little tear in it. Well, that one went, and now there's this one. And it's sealed. I don't know if you can really see it. It's captured, but it is sealed, which is quite nice. It's got a bit of edging on it, but for what it is, and because I'm just really picky and fussy, and there's just no particular point, I'm gonna open this on camera. So yeah. So Dragon Ball Z for the Kai. Uh, I'm opening it because there's no point because it's already got tears in it anyway, off people doing it. So you know, I've seen I've seen some people um, open sealed copies of Star Fox. You fit on the N64, the Nintendo. Sorry. <laughs> Love that new game smell. Great. Anyway. Can you see me? Yeah, I've seen people open like Star Fox on the uh, Super Nintendo. Open that like, so. Uh, yeah, Dragon Ball Z. Now, this is either a reseal or it is actually brand new. And that is brand new. <laughs> very nice, very nice. This comes in with instructions, obviously. And a uh, health warning. It's pretty cool. I'm happy with that. But yeah, this is probably the most new game I have, GameCube-wise. 
for now. We also have Egomania for five pound sealed, but again, it's a more common title. There's no point really going for it at the moment. Uh, right, and the last. Oh no, we did not see one. Sorry, I'm trying to think what a ball. Yeah, and um, hmm, missing something all along. Where's that gone? There it is. Oh, right, so I went through exchange. Uh, checked their stock listings last night. The Ad Cycle Adventure 2 for £4 went in, it was gone. Complete bullshit. But I did happen to find, you see the found, uh, the Incredible Hulk Ultimate Destruction. Now, this one's meant to be really, really good. Sorry, I'm light again. It's really bad. But yeah, this is meant to be the better one of the Hulk series. It's meant to be really good. Came out on Xbox and PS2. It comes with its disc and its manual. It comes with like a manual is pretty cool. It's like a comic book. I don't know if I can get it out for you and show you. But... Nope, it's not like a comic book. I'm mistaken. I think it was a Spider Man game. I think it was a comic book. I'm not mistaken. But anyway, yeah, Hulk, Kyle Destruction, £5. Uh, the going rate, probably, I'd say. eBay prices, talking 8 to 15 Don't know why, but £5. I couldn't really complain about that. I was not going about price. No one else is really hard. And uh, lastly, I've got some GameCube games. These are all sealed. I've still got the tabs on because I haven't took them out and I haven't added them to the, um, the data list. That's what I'm going to do after this video. Uh, yeah, so on the 3 for 2, I've got Super Monkey Ball. It's complete, which is very nice. I actually really like I, I enjoyed the Super Monkey Ball series when it came out, to be honest. But, yeah, uh, Golden Eye Rogue Agent, that's another favourite of mine. I remember this on the PS2, I, I enjoyed it. Some people say it's like the worst one, but I don't know. Uh, and I picked up Harry Potter, The Prison of Azkaban. Right, uh, the only reason why was because it was either a choice between this and Second Sight. Now, Second Sight, I haven't got. This, I have no idea where I've got it because I think I did pick this up, didn't I? I'm not too sure, I'll have to check in a minute, but it was either that or Second Sight. Second site was in really, 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 really bad condition. So to get that for free wasn't too bad. And for them for two ninety nine, sort of five pound ninety eight, so not too fussed. Also fell in love with uh, the game station girl that works there. Which is really sad, but she's really, really nice, so yeah, I'm in love. No, I'm messing. No no but she's she's really nice, like she's just choose a song to mean that. She she likes Tales of Vesperia, which I thought was a bit weird, like you like Tales of Vesperia. It's like, yeah, I've had it for ages. Like, really? I'm just going to conversations about RPGs and weird things like that. But it's pretty cool. I still have Super Monkey Ball as well on the Wii, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, day to pick up sport today. I'm expecting packages, uh, two packages, I think. The sport, oh, updates on the sport titles. I basically told them to jog on because he was taking the piss with the money, so I asked for a full refund and he just gave me it because I was just I was complaining that much, so you know, it was full refund instead because you're just complaining too much, so I went, okay, so, sports titles, not that fussed about it anyway, I mean, they were going cheapish, but, then again, if you're, you know, if you say you're going to combine the postage, and you haven't done it within five days, this will be the fifth day, this, by the way, that I've been paid for, and he still hasn't refunded me, so I said, well, fine, I'll just refund it now, but, you know, get a noise of you and your bullshit, uh, SD cards coming for that camera, well, the camera over there, it would be pretty cool, and I've also got, uh, yeah, like I said, two packages coming up. So, uh, yeah, I've been next on X, and you know, and again, thanks for watching.